Welcome to getting started with the Steel Import Monitoring and Analysis System, known as SEMA. SEMA is made up of the Import Licensing System and the Import Monitor. In this video, we will cover account creation. We will cover navigating to the SEMA site, transferring account information for legacy users, creating a new account for new users, logging in for the first time, and changing the account password. This system is optimized for the latest version of Google Chrome and may not be compatible with other browsers. To find our new system, you'll want to go to trade.gov slash steel. On this website, you'll see a lot of our resources for applying for steel licenses and monitoring steel data. As well, you'll see the section on the bottom left of the web page that says click here to apply for a license. For users of our legacy steel import licensing system, you'll need to create a new account on the new system and click sign up now. When you create your new account, you will need to enter your display name, which is the name that will be used to greet you when you log into the system, as well as your first name, last name, and the email address that you used in our legacy system. Please create a new password and repeat that password in the confirm new password box, and then click verify email address. After you have clicked to verify your email address, you receive a verification code to your email account. Please give it five to 10 minutes for the code to arrive. If you still do not see the code, please check your spam or trash folder. If the code is still not there, then you can click send new code and a new email will be sent to your account. After you have your verification code, you can click verify code. Your email address will be verified and you can click create my account. After you've created your new account, your registration information will be pulled from the legacy system. Make sure to verify that your EIN is correct as it auto populates from the legacy system. If it is incorrect, replace it with the correct number and click Save. You can refer to our FAQs for more information. From there, you can click on Home to go to your dashboard view. After you've confirmed your registration information, you can go to the Dashboard Overview page, and there you'll be able to see all your old licenses. For new users to our system, you want to scroll to the bottom of this web page, click Sign Up Now, and enter your information into this form. For your information, you want to enter a display name, which we'll use to greet you when you log into the system, your first and last names in separate boxes, a valid email address that you can be reached at, as well as your new password for the account. The new password and confirm new password boxes must match. Once your information is entered, then you can click verify email address and you will receive a verification code. Please give it five to 10 minutes for your verification email to arrive. If you still do not see your email, please check your junk or spam folder. If you still see the email is not there, you can click send new code. Once you have your code, you can click verified code. Your email address will be verified and you can click create my account. Once your account is created, you'll be brought to this landing page. Go ahead and click see licensing and you'll be brought to the account details page. On the account details page, you want to make sure that you enter in all your information as accurately as possible. The fields with small red stars on them are required. If you have branch information, you can include that at the bottom as well and click Save. The new SEMA system has an automated password reset. If you have forgotten your password, you can click Forgot Your Password. In order to reset your password, you'll need to enter your email address and click Send Verification Code. If you have not received your verification code within five to 10 minutes, please check your spam or junk folder. You can also click send new code and a new verification code will be sent to you. Once you have received your verification code, you can enter it into the text box and click verify code. Once your email address is verified, you will then be able to change your password. Enter your new password into the text box 
and again in the Confirm New Password text box. Once you're done, click Continue. With your new password created, you'll be brought back to this landing page where you can click See Licensing and continue to apply for new licenses. Thank you for watching. For more information, please check out the FAQs, quick reference guides, and user guides. If you have further questions, please forward them to steel.license at trade.gov.